Hello, I'm Ming Tech Chia. I'd like to share you about the wildlife. And um, the, uh, when I study with my master, uh, my master told me that um, the whole universe covered with wildlife. I had no idea. Until the Europe and in the, um, in the Lucerne, Switzerland, they releasing uh, very expensive research about the, um, uh, the universe. And they discover that from the uh, particle they hit in the first time, they spin too fast and two particles hit, it overheat and it fails. So eight billion gone. And uh, Euro. And the second time, they rebuild again and spend another eight billion. So they dis have this cosmic particle spin very fast and hit together, bang. And the water light coming out. So they they say they suspicion already that the whole universe uh, is the uh, water light, dark water light, and they are interconnecting together. And uh, and when I saw the picture, I said. Oh, this is all what my master always told me, but I don't have a picture, an idea. How is it? And when I see the picture now, when I do meditation, and I close my eyes, so I, I, I guide you through, very simple, okay? So you uh, just meet, can we stop? I don't know. So um, when we tong tong, okay. So when you um, you close your eyes and uh, try to look into the darkness, and when you see the darkness, you started to. Uh, when the, when you see the darkness, very dark, and you keep on looking very dark, very dark, very dark. And um, when you look, so my master said when they, um, he told me, I don't understand that. He said when you, when you look in the darkness and look it so dark, so dark, until it cannot be dark anymore. Light coming in. So I don't know what is light coming in. Because... How can you look into the darkness, darkness and the light coming? So when the um, uh, the research of the universe and the dark, by the light come, and um, when I started to look into the darkness, 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 and it's very dark, and the light coming in is the dark, white light, and it become turned to more brighter, brighter white light. And this what it like now they have more research in that and they said this what they like have intelligence and wisdom and they can be programmed and they can uh it can actually uh the research is that they um our soul and spirit that we have also is part of the what they like. Because the white light is the interconnecting everything in the universe. And that's why the whole white light is very, um, uh, when I, more and more, when the Western discover this light, and I, uh, when I do practice, I see the white light. So every morning when I, when I wake up, I don't move. And I smile, and when I feel my navel started to feel warm and nice and door of life, and I feel energy. And after that, I just smile and look into my in, look into the darkness. And uh, until right now, when I close my eye, look in the darkness, where the light come, where the light come. So one where the light come, and I feel that. I connecting with it. 
when I feel that I'm connecting with it now. Uh, that's it. And that's all I, I do. Because uh, when I'm connecting with it, I feel the brain with what it like. So what it like have wisdom, knowledge, and intelligence. It can be programmed. It has a lot of healing power. And uh, our soul and spirit also part of this uh, what it like okay and um, so their whole what they like is covered the whole universe and that's what the more and more research on this come out from the West now Yes. Uh, this Sunday, when we do the practice meditation, I will uh, transmit a. I will transmission because what they like cover everywhere. So when I and I connecting what they like, and um, when I transmitting it, now everybody, uh, we are all connect together as one because of inter of this dark uh, why 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 uh, violet light why 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 web like a web and um, it's, so we are all interconnecting together and I work with my master is from the beginning is the violet light The benefits of seeing the violet light? Uh, violet light we call the universal light. The light of the uh, universe which is carry wisdom and knowledge. And um, so that's why when we when you can receive the violet light into the brain and this violet light will increasing the brain intelligence wisdom and knowledge and that's what uh, uh, thousand and thousand years the Tao talk about primordial light and this uh, dark weather light and the, um, so they call the Tao, the Tao way of uh, receiving this blessing and energy Hmm? What are the benefits of hearing true sound? Healing to the Tao. What is the benefit of true sound? Oh, true, true Tao. Oh, <laughs> the um, uh, <laughs> that is a very difficult part. Say that uh, the true Tao, and um, uh, many. Because Taoism is very big in China and many lineages they always say they are the true Tao. Uh, when I learn with my master, um, uh, he also talking about this uh, because people said they are the real one, they're the right one, they're the other people not right. So that's why there are so many, so many people claim that they are the true Tao, because it's a big religious in the in the China. Okay, for me, you know, uh, I when I learn with my master, is a uh, he he not come he been. Go to the temple many times. Uh, actually, he go around the temple for thirty years, and he's um, he think that he don't want. Uh, he want to search for some more. So uh, when he met more uh, hermit in a mountain, and he talk about that if you really want to learn something real in the Tao, you have to go to the cave and sit and do meditation and 
but you have to first thing you have to forgive and you have to be let go if you if you cannot let go you cannot do it so um he have family he have money he have uh land and everything so when he go into a uh, deeper deeper mountain a uh, forest and find more tao master and sit with them so after about few years he suddenly he think that he want to give up everything and uh, just go and practicing tao so he come back and uh give all the money to the wife and uh, children and everything and um so he get rid everything out nothing out because the tao master tell, tell him that if you really learn the tao you have to have to give away all your thing out so when he give away all the thing and he go to the mountain and he start do the practice so he uh he spending quite a long time to do the meditation and he met he lucky he met the great a uh, grand grandmaster the grandmaster okay and um so he passed him the nine formula okay so that is uh, how he learned so when he received this nine formula and he started to do practice level by level by level level and um and um so that's how he he can spend nearly 30 years in a uh, in the cave practicing all this formula and um uh because of the the china war in japan they attacked the manchuria because uh they are on the north near the manchuria the white mountain so um when the um when the Japanese attack, all the people retreat. So my master also retreat, and finally he settled down in Hong Kong, and that's why when I study in Hong Kong, I, I have, I have chance to meet him, because we talk about energy and everything, and one of his, one of my master student, actually my senior classmate, uh, heard about it. So he said, if you want to 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 meet the master that have energy, I take you there, and that's how I have fortunate met my master. And it seemed like when I met I met him, uh, and he started to tell me to okay, you like to know chi, okay, I can teach you how to get chi. You meditate in the Tan Tian, and uh, until you feel energy move in orbit if you feel energy move in orbit and your tongue vibrating you come to see me so i go home according to his instruction he used a finger pointed my navel and i sit after that uh energy started to move so i don't know i just sit there and sit there and energy move and energy move by the time i realize it's in the morning already I said, what? What I'm doing? And, uh, I, I, I see things so long and I don't know. Uh, and um, so I I went to see him and tell him the, my experience. He said, oh, okay. You have the real right experience. So he started to teach me the fusion. Okay. I said, okay. You, I give you the fusion one. You go home and practice. If you have any experience, come and tell me the experience. If you give the right experience, I will teach you the next thing. And it seemed like one or two days, I go back to see him. I explain to him the experience. He said, oh, you get it. It seemed like you know all these things. I said, I don't know. But when you teach me, the, you give me the formula, and I said, hmm, it seemed like I know it. Okay, so I... According to what he's tell me, and I do the meditation, and I feel the energy. So from there, uh, he teach me the microcosmic, inner smile, seeking sound, fusion one, fusion two, fusion three. So 
and I learned from him so much, and um, that means he gave me all the formula, and um, and and from there, uh, he he passed me actually all the formula, and I said I don't know, I give you, and uh, this is my uh, my promise, my master that I will have to pass to somebody, and now I pass you, and I asked. I asked my master, I said, Master, why, why you have, why the doubts only passed to one generation, one person? He said, um, uh, because the master said, the, the master said that you have to pass the practice down. Okay? But if you pass down to the wrong person, you have to respond, okay? Because you pass down to the wrong person and the wrong person use this thing in the wrong way. So that's why every person uh, uh, you have to be watch them, make sure that they're not doing bad. So after that, my master, uh, when he passed to me, he told me. So I said, Master, all the things you teach me, I don't know how people are going to use them in the wrong way. Uh, he said, they are, they, because all I teach you is a white magic, not a black magic. So that is, um, uh, that's why we, be, so I said, the thing that you teach me, I don't know how I can do it in the bad way. Okay? And I think, Master, this thing is so good. Why can't we uh, teach more people? He think over. He said that is what the the great 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 master passing down. Now you are the master. You decide. I said, oh, <laughs> okay. So that's why. Uh, so I sit down and rearrange all the classes and uh, teach, started to teach people and break them down. And I very emphasize in opening the microcosmic and do the inner smile and do the seeking sound to make sure get rid of the negative emotional. And uh, explain very clear into the Western way that, hey, every organ have emotional, have positive and negative emotional. You need to take care of it. And that's how I, uh, so the, the whole practice become uh, a more complete, easy to learn. Master, can you uh, speak about energy transmission? The people are <coughs> asking why some people see the light and other people they hear the sound. Uh, why they don't, cannot uh, get the both? Some people are more vision type person. They can see light easier. Some people are more orator, oratory type person. They hear things. So that people have two types. One is see and one is hear. So that those people that see, they can, they receiving the information like light. And people that can hear, they hear a high peak sound and that is, we call primordial sound. Um, the healing, um, the light, that means when I, when I transmitting the light, when people receiving it, and they have to learn how to channeling the light. 
And if they can do something like a very simple smiling, so when you feel light coming in and bring the light down to the brain, down to the heart, and and um, I will teach them how to smiling in the smile according to a uh, we call the sequence. So smile to the heart, heart fire, and the spleen earth elements and the earth creating lung elements, metal element, and metal creating wa- attract water, kidney element, and the liver, uh, wood elements. So they have to learn how to smile this energy in the creating cycle. So this energy, uh, when you, when, when this, what they like, when you guide them into the heart, especially the heart, the heart receive this light. They have a lot of healing power, and they can radiate out to the, all the other body and organs. Thank you. Uh, what should a student do in third forty days after the transmission? Uh, if they can continue follow the structure to practicing it, it take about fifteen or twenty minutes a day to do the practice. You just sit down meditation and just think uh, just you can hold the hand like uh, hold the hand near the heart or no hold the hand cover the heart and smile to the heart and feel love joy happiness and the uh, heart is the red light and the heart when you have love joy happiness and you read in them out to the mid eyebrow it attract what they like so heart itself, when you feel love, joy, happiness, and uh, when you close your eye, feel love, joy, happiness, smiling, and bring this love to the mid eyebrow, radiant out to the universe. And when you radiant out energy from the mid eyebrow to the universe, now you receive the violet light come to you, okay, and it also come to the heart, and increasing more love, more joy, more happiness. Does it mean we haven't received it? No. Sometimes some people uh, would. Some people they maybe have some kind of. Uh, we call sometimes you know people when they have some kind of problem, energy problem, or don't feel well or get sick. So when the energy come, usually energy go to healing. So sometimes they feel like they don't they don't feel it, but eventually if they do it forty days, they started to 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 see the hey, I think my sickness started to get better, and that is the one that started to realize that hey, the what they like or high peak sound, they started to work, so they are light and sound. If you all you do is we will, uh, we will we will guide you through and go ahead and uh, then we will guide you through how to prepare yourself, smiling into the organs, relax yourself, and after that, a few love, joy, happiness, red light, and this red light when you have this love energy, it come up to the mid eyebrow. So when you have love, joy, happiness come up to the mid eyebrow, now you can send this love energy into the universe. So you from mid eyebrow extend out to the universe, and the love will attracting love, attracting uh, light. And um, in the universe, uh, universe violet light are very very connecting to the heart. So when this loving energy come up to the mid eyebrow, go out it attracting what they like, and that's all. And uh, I've been teaching this so long, and many people get it. Yes, thank you. How about the curtain? Should they dim the room before the transmission? Yeah. Um, if they can make the the room more darker, 
uh, not too bright, they will start it to feel that they're easy to get it. The, because darkness, you know, we have light because we're closer to the sun. But the universe, but the universe is the um, violet light. So that's why the, uh, when we, when we started to um, make the room more darker, and you close your eyes and look into the darkness, but when you have feel love, joy, happiness, in the Tao said, love, uh, love is light. That's what uh, Einstein, uh, Einstein said. Love is light. So love is the uh, love is light, and when this light can radiate out tremendous power, is the most powerful energy in this world. Is love is light, and the higher level of uh, of uh, uh, David Tiken, uh, David um, about the um, uh, the higher light is the dark violet light. David, um, no, David, uh, okay. So that is the, uh, he's talking about that the highest violet light is, is the highest energy in this universe. The highest frequency. No, while they frame in the uh, in olden time they call like the holy fire. Now, um, it's a stronger when the light very condensed is turned to frame. So we call the white frame. Many thoughts, okay. Um, the, that is normal. <laughs> Even me, I sit down, <laughs> I still thinking this and thinking that if I'm too busy. So the whole key in the Tao have one simple rule. You touch the navel, and below the navel, you, so navel, below the navel, you think, so you think, you have to put your mind in thinking of something. So the Tao said, below the navel, there are Tantian fire. So you think below the navel about uh, six six centimeter, okay? Below the navel, a, a six centimeter, centimeter round, you think a red fire burning. That that's all. So when you focus on the red fire burning, now you started to feel this uh, tantian fire. So that's the first step. Yes, what it likes is a rainbow color, so it can have any color. Okay, so it have all rainbow, all the green, all the white, everything there. Yeah. So some people, uh, in the Tao ways, they say when you see light. For example, we say in the Tao set, when you see a red light, that means your heart need more energy, because red light for the heart. And when you see yellow light, the spleen energy. So that means when the yellow light comes, you can bring them into the spleen and enhance the spleen, the spleen. Now, the white light is the lung energy. So when, you, when the white light comes, maybe it tells you that, hey, your lung needs more energy, so you bring that white light into your lung. Now, the blue light is the kidney energy. We call water blue. So when the, you see the blue light, that means uh, the energy, uh, the body know it, and uh, is and the light coming in. So that now when the blue light comes, you can bring them into the kidney. And uh, and the liver is the green light. We call three. 
So when you see green light, you can bring them into the liver. It enhances the liver. So we call five major uh, light and five major organs uh, in adults always concerned, uh, always involved with this five major light energy. Yeah, the um, it is Sunday. Uh, I will I will doing healing session, and um, so uh, we will we will help you activate the white light and transmit the white light to you. After that, I guide you to the very simple inner smile, and we can finish. I teach you a very simple releasing the emotional. You know, we have a sick healing sound practice and um, uh, it's very simple. Like, um, like we have the lung, uh, in the Tao's belief, belief that uh, organs hold emotional. And, um, and we deal with emotional all the time, okay? And we don't know what to do. So in the West, we have uh, psychology, okay, and um, so oh, why you get so angry and this and that now? <laughs> because uh, so when we talk about when you're small and uh, you're being uh, scored or hit or punished by the parents or something, so now when you grow up, sometimes you relapse back into your childhood and you feel that emotional that you've been punished or something like that. So in a Tao said, uh, emotional, you can learn how to release it. So we have the Sikung Sao uh, practice, how to let go emotional in different organs. In the bio. bio. Where? Just say like this, in Instagram. In, uh, it, you can get the link of the healing session in the bio in the Instagram. This Sunday? Uh, this Sunday. What time? 8 p.m. New York time. 8 Paris time. Two p.m. Paris time, and eight eight a.m. in New York time. Okay. Uh, one more question: Could you please say shortly what should I do in forty days following the transmission? How to not lose your energy? You do. Uh, we'll tell you what to do. The so you um uh you first thing you feel love. You, every day you have to feel love, feel joy, feel happy and feel this loving energy come up to the mid eyebrow and from the so this love, joy, happiness come to mid eyebrow and from the mid eyebrow you send out to the universe and you connecting again with the white light and you sitting there you just smiling into the universe and see the white light and see the white light come to you to fill up your brain and fill up your heart that's all. And you do it every day and, and when you finish always bring them down to the navel and you just use your hand spiral and feel feel that energy. Light is energy. Okay, light is energy. So when you see the light, it turns into energy. And when you have too much energy, you need to co learn how to collect this energy in your navel area. I don't see the light now, if I practice, will I see the light? Yes, very clear. If you follow instruction and you do it, uh, some people are more not vision tight, some people is audio tight. Audio tight, sometimes you hear a high pitch sound. And uh, so when I transmit, I transmit light and sound out. And what is the reason? 
cannot see the light because they are older type. Yes. Great, so I hope we, ho we hope to see them. Yes, Sunday. we hope to see you on Sunday. Okay. And um, yes, thank you.